What is up mountain slugs? We have a new video here for you. I've had some requests to demonstrate how I wash my bikes. This is how I do it. It's not how everybody does it. There's lots of uh, talk about using pressure washers, not using pressure washers. I've used them for years. And I'll show you what I do to use them and to be effective and not destroy your bike. So we went on a great ride today. It's currently like 41 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, we did get some snow last night and with that, it was dry and then it got wet and where we rode was pretty sandy. So as you can see, the fuse is definitely dirty. I've got some grass stuck here. I've got some grass in my cassette. So we're gonna get this bad boy cleaned up and I'm gonna show you how I do it. So here's a few products I kind of have on hand. This is made by Chemical Guys. It's a great soap, Mr. Pink. I use it on my vehicles, but I also found it works really well on the bikes. Um, after I get done washing and drying, we'll, we can talk about that. I've got this awesome absorber that you can use. I use compressed air and this. If you don't have that, you can use a microfiber towel. I'll bounce it off. I always bounce it off a few times. Um, and then after I get that all done, get it blown off, Obviously, we're going to lube the chain up, clean it again. Um, and then I've got a couple items here from Plus Soap, which work awesome. I spray these on after I'm totally done. This helps create a barrier on your bike. And it's, it's for cars, I'll let you know. But one day I was like, I'm going to try this on my bike and see if it works. And it works really well, and it helps the muck just fall off. It kind of becomes like, I don't know, hydrophobic, if that makes sense. Um, it works really well. This is something I use on my car just to hurry and do a real, just a spray wax touch up. But you can use this as well. You can use pretty much whatever. Sometimes I'll use just straight water. I do know that I wash more in the winter, of course, because it's a little wetter, things get mucky. But the summer, I still try to wash them every other ride just so they stay clean. Because a clean bike is a fast bike, you know if there's a problem. So let's wash this bad boy. First thing I like to do is just give it a good rinse. You don't want to use a direct stream. You want to make sure you use a soft stream. There's a neighbor, he's a super nice guy, Carlos. Um, so you want to kind of have a nice fan. You don't want to jam a lot of pressure. You don't want to be focusing on shooting water down in your pulleys or your bearings or anything like that. You want to kind of just stand back. And I've never had a problem, so here we go. get one side, then I'll flip and do the other side. And then we're gonna foam it. Now I'm gonna switch to the foam and I'm gonna foam it up so we can get it on. Maybe, maybe we're just gonna have an epic fail right here while we're filming, now it's stuck. Okay, now we're ready. So I like to coat one side and then coat the other side.
All right. So now that we've got that foamed, take this nice tire brush here. We just kind of work it around. Get your tires clean. If we had it in a nice stand, that'd be good. But I don't like using my repair stand just because I don't want all that muck getting down in there and clogging up the works on that. Give everything a nice brush. Don't forget to wash the slug. He likes to be clean. And just work your way around as you go. Make sure you're getting down those tight spots. And then that soap will help lift all that dirt. And then as you rinse it off, it'll just all fall off. Let's get this side. Okay, that's it. Now we just rinse it. Have it she's nice and clean now we got to focus on getting it dry so one thing I like to do is just give it a good bounce quite a few times help get all them water drops off she's good to go now I'll do is I will set it somewhere here We'll use the truck and grab my chamois. All right, these chamois are awesome. This is not like a legitimate like chamois. This is a, I don't know, some weird material, but it works really well. It absorbs a lot of water and you can jam it down in nooks and crannies. And just really focus on getting all, everything dry as you can. And then we'll move on to the using the pneumatic air to get it cleaned up. Now there's definitely different levels of keeping your bike clean. A lot of times I'll do this and then totally strip it down, pull the cassette off, clean the cassette, the drive hub, all that. And that's just part of bike maintenance. But this is just a good general wash. Keep them clean and keep them tuned. It's easy to keep them running right. That way you know when there's a problem. There we go, that's about it. Just a good general wipe down. And we, when we get it in the stand, we'll blow it off and we can definitely focus on, you know, getting the rims dry, getting them all shiny. Make sure she's ready for the next rip. Give it some more bounces. All right, now we're inside. We'll throw this up in the bike stand and work on getting this water blown out of here. Now, it's a lot easier when it's warmer, but like I said, it's 41 degrees outside, so it's a little chilly. My hands are getting pretty cold from doing this. So we're gonna grab the air nozzle and just work on blowing the, the water that's stuck in the nooks and crannies out of there that we couldn't get. Drive chain, drive train chain.
this is a good time to see if you've got any stragglers. I just seen a piece of grass swing by that I didn't see. Okay, now since we have that blown off, now we can get into the detail work. That's where I grab the microfiber. These are great for absorbing water as well. And just kind of just give it a once over. That way you can do some of your detail work. If you missed a couple spots, you can get them with just this microfiber. Wipe your derailleur down, crank arms. Sometimes you'll get a little bit of residue left on there. Get your crown, stanchions wiped down good. I have another video about keeping those nice and clean. I probably need to remake it because that's one of my first videos I think we released. It was a kind of a how-to. And then once you get this done, Microfiber is still pretty clean. I'm gonna take some of this waterless wash. I'm gonna spray it on here, get a good coat, and I'm just gonna apply it to the frame. This will really help keep the dust off, any water, mud. It's really crazy how it lets that stuff just run off there. It's something that you gotta do, you know, here and there. You have to reapply it, but it's pretty awesome. So give it a, everything a good rub down. And then what I like to do is flip the towel inside out and then follow up with the dry side. And it just makes it nice and shiny. Helps protect your frame as long as you're not hitting rocks and stuff. I've done that a few times, my cranks you want to pan over to the crank so we can definitely show <laughs> definitely had to file a couple spots here just getting up over stuff we've seen it in probably some of my videos but that's how we learn and that's how we grow is we got to push ourselves right got to challenge ourselves to do more and be better make our skill set better okay there's the main I'm gonna do these uh, the rear triangle now. Get her coated up. Just run down there. Down both sides. Try to get the seat tube as much as possible. Cranks. Ooh, looks like I picked up some red rock on my crank arm today when I was getting over that. Look at that big old bad boy. These cranks have definitely been uh, abused, but they're still working great for me. Now don't, you don't want to spray this on your rotors. To keep your rotors as free from anything that's slick, oil, anything like that. Just leave those alone. If I do wipe my rotors down, I'll use like a brand new shop towel. And that is it. I do not like messing with the brakes because you kind of need them to stop. And if you don't have them, it's a bad thing. And then just go back over it a second time. And that is pretty much it for a wash. Pretty simple, pretty quick. Take you about, I don't know, 20 minutes, half hour. We're going to hurry and do the chain and then we're done. We're ready for another rip. So I like to use this bow, uh, bow, bow lube. 
<laughs> bow shield, bio shield, whatever, T9 bicycle chain lube, okay? Um, first thing I like to do is go ahead and just clean the chain off. And this is just a little shop towel. And I just like to back pedal it through here. Now I know there's chain cleaners and all that fancy stuff, but if I ever pull my chain off, it goes right in the ultrasonic tank. It's the best way to clean them, I think, gets them nice and clean. But for this wash, since we're not doing a full tear down, run it through, move your towel a couple times, fold it over, light pressure, just back pedal. I like to roll it from the top to the side and get all that junk out of there. And I'll show you what come off. And I, not too bad. My bikes get tuned up all the time, so it's not horribly bad. During the winter, it's probably every other ride, I would say. Where did I put the lube? Right here. Now, this stuff, you want to shake it up. And a good rule of thumb that I always do is find your master link or your quick link, which is right here. And we're going to start here and try to put a drop on each roller. Whoop. Sometimes it comes out a little faster than you want. And then this stuff's really good if you just let it set up for about an hour. But if you need to go ride or you're headed out for a ride, you can throw it on, let it sit for as long as possible before you take off, and then just wipe it back off. And it does a really great job of keeping everything nice and smooth, running good, shifting crisp, no squeaky chains. It's crazy. I don't know how many times I've been on a ride and I see guys go by and Oh man, their bike is just screaming, screaming, please give me some love. Remember, clean bike's a fast bike, and that's what we want. And then once you get around back to your quick link or your master link, you are good to go. And we're gonna hit one more spot as far as lubrication goes. There's that, I like to just back pedal it for a sec, or run through the gears here in a second. And I like to just put a drop down here in my pulleys. These are just bushings. I don't have the fancy bearing bearings in there. And just give it a, a run there. Oh, there's my seat dropper cable. It's running. All right. And then what I like to do is just go ahead and run through your gears. Make sure they work. Make sure they're still crisp. And they're doing what they're supposed to do. Like we got a little bit to adjust that cable just a tiny bit. And that's it. Easy. Wipe it off in an hour, you're ready to go. She's nice and clean. She's smooth. That stuff on the paint really does a good job of keeping the muck off there. So I hope this helps you. Um, if you have any questions, please leave comments in the description or in the comment section, not the description. I will have links to this stuff in the description. So if you guys want to try this for yourself, if you want to buy it, Plus Soap is great soap. Uh, they have soap, they have all kinds of stuff. The wax, that stuff for my vehicle, it's, it's awesome. Um, and yeah, that's it. So I hope it helps. Keep inching your way to the top, and thanks for watching. See you guys.